is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 114, NASDAQ up 73, S&P's up 18, gold contract up $10.30, trading at 1282 an ounce. We got silver up 25 cents, $14.79 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $61.94 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note up 8 ticks, 123.13. 30-year bond up 19 147.17 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 111 ticks. 90 trading 97.475. The euro is trading at a price point of 111.20. No, let's see. Euro is trading. Where are you? 111.77. Thank you. 111.77. The yen is at 111.28 and the pound is at 130. And welcome to No Risk Friday, folks. <laughs> so No Risk Friday, No Risk Monday. This is a joke inside the den. One of our tigresses is. Uh, that it's like it seems like every Friday and Monday. Okay. Uh, bottom line. That being said, now what's so cool about that, and that's why I said it in general. Well, I said it for a couple of different reasons. But what you do have with the S and P right now. Okay. So check this out. So if we take a look at this S and P, you know, great jobs numbers. No. no I was it. waiting for we, we got to oh, get to it, oh, man. The wait, show started. You're talking about inside the, jokes in the den. And the, we haven't the, said the, why the, it's the, no the, risk the, Friday. The, the, there's you, no doubt. If you get 3.6 unemployment on any Friday, there's very little risk being long in the market. Yeah. Except if they start jacking up rates but that doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Right. Now, that being said, the S&P is coming right into the downdraft of yesterday. Um, so it's going to be intriguing to see, you know, if this baby can... Uh, of Wednesday, maybe? Uh, Wednesday, thank you. Yes. Yeah, of Wednesday. Uh, so this is going to be the battle line. That's the battle line that's set up. There's no doubt. Jobs number, folks, this is... Uh, it says the lowest unemployment since 1949, I think. Oh, no, 49 years. Yes, 49 years, yeah. yeah. It's probably quite a number, man. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a number. Gold getting a pop, right? Yeah. Got, uh... Yeah. That's it's a good pop on gold, man. I mean, it looks like what you're, what you're going to have here, you got 174,000 contracts. That's good contract volume. So we'll do, you know, 274. We'll see whether it'll push 300. It's going to be close to push 300. But... Can we pull up the chart? Uh, after yeah. we, uh, the 10 year yield. Just start typing 10 year yield. Uh... Yeah, yeah, you just yeah. even 10 year. Uh... I want the yield. There we yeah, go. There go. I just wanted to see the action this morning um, on that jobs number. If there's a spike one way, yeah, Look a little that. bit ahead, right? So when yeah. we go up to about 2.573, and we're sitting at 2.52. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, right. definitely. Lower rates, I'm cool with that. Yeah, no, no doubt, man. Yeah. We're all addicted. Um, some of the higher volume equities out here, I will see whether they get volume out here. Oh, I, this is the one I want to bring up. So you got... Well, look at this. This, where is it? Beyond me. This, yeah. This is something I was telling Bestford about this yesterday yeah. upstairs. This, this is, so this, this company was started, was funded by Gates and Leon DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, they got a lot of other people I'm involved sure. in it. But, but I remember Gates being, uh, yeah. when that came out, that he was an investor of some, right. some level in it. Right. Yeah. Now, look at this. We haven't seen... Um, I, I definitely haven't seen a, a pop like this in, I bet, 10 years. Uh, so it went public at $25. Yeah, I think the on, first trade was 46 or yeah, 42 Yeah, exactly. And then it gets up to 72 Right. I think it was hit 72 Well, look at it. It had 74 today. Oh, no, is this, yeah, it hit 74 today. That's yes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 74. So yesterday it hit 72.95. Yeah. And this is like a monster number, man. I mean, we'll see whether, you know, and they, they, yeah. they, they lose a lot of money. Uh, but the expansion is pretty dramatic also. The, uh, their growth. Yeah. They, they, their growth, uh, and if people start eating beet juice, that's, they put beet juice in it to make it bleed. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a, this is an article, but they, they have competition. Though, I too. think I may have had one of their burgers. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but they have some great options for veggie burger style yeah. these days, you know, right. in terms of, I think they call it the Amazing Burger or something. It might be this beyond, um, it might be them. There's a lot of restaurants that carry, like... Th that's here. That's, let's see, this... 
Well, we'll, we'll look at it. Yeah. But, but there are. That's, that's what the article is about. There's a lot of restaurants that have it. Sure. Not just them. Right, right. You know, so. um, and then on the flip side of that, because I was talking to Bestford upstairs yesterday, the guy we work with, and uh, I was saying, you know what, man, it doesn't necessarily mean that, like, meat's going to go down, though. Because do you remember a couple weeks ago that article about, um, was it Walmart, right? Building their own supply chain right. for cattle. And they were actually saying, like, you know, there's other options coming into the market, but we don't see meat decreasing. Like, it's right. actually just adding to because versus... Because we read that, that article about the amount of meat that we eat per person. Exactly. It's and like it, a monster it number. It was a monster number. And yeah. even as the trend goes to an opportunity for companies like that, for more vegetarian options, right. people are still eating meat to and, a staggering level. Yeah. Um, and there's more people. Because I think it was, it was like a pound every... Was it? A pound every... Yeah, a pound every week. It was. It about was, a pound was, every week, yeah, because yeah. I was breaking down. I was like, that means you're eating like an eight-ounce steak twice. Uh, and this is just red meat we're yeah. talking about, not right. um, chicken, right. fish. Um, and I like red meat, but that's a lot of, a lot of meat. It's a lot of meat, yeah. no doubt. 877-927-6648. There's no doubt we get, uh, you get ac well, you get action everywhere here. That's, that's the real bottom line. The Dow seems to be giving it up already. So we'll see where this is going to shake out. You know, we, the Dow, you get, it had a high out here today of uh, 473. That was, uh, well, it's 70 points higher than we were right now. Not yeah, that looked a little bit different. When I did that 10 o'clock update, the yeah, uh, NASDAQ yeah. and the S&P were both at highs, and the Dow wasn't quite there. So, and look at the, you know, you don't have a lot of uh, Dow stocks taken away from it. So it's showing that there's not real strength there. Yeah. You get uh, Microsoft putting 11 positive points, Goldman putting 9, Apple putting 8, taken away from it. No big deal. Cisco, 3, um, you know, Dow DuPont, 2. So what you have inside of that, when you see a low number like that, is that it's like slight buying and slight selling across the whole market. Pretty calm. Uh, I yeah, think I said yesterday that I hadn't seen a day in a while where no stock was putting more or less than 15 points. And right. on that, it's like 11. Right. So it's even more muted. You know, we take a look at the uh, NDX 100. You got oh, Mercado okay. Libre. It's uh, a little bit more volatility on both that. sides. Up 18 points. That's an all-time high. 18%. Yeah, 18%. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 88 like, points. Yeah, exactly. Look at this. So now this, where's this? Let's see, this got a market cap, where are we? Uh, 28 billion. 28 billion, not bad. Okay. Um, yeah, look at this, look at this move. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and what did they, what did they, come out with earnings? Yeah, uh, come out with earnings last night. We crushed see, it out of the park. Yeah, they did, they, they did. It's, some of those numbers go, were right. like, yeah. Well, there, so revenue, 473 versus 421. That's yeah. quite a beat. That's, right. uh, that's more than 10% above, right? And then look at the, look at, they were, they were looking for a loss of 11 cents, and they made 13 cents. Wow, yeah. Number, yep. Number 11. It's yep. just like, <laughs> And it may have even been worse than that, because this one has consensus of a 13 cent loss, so they were supposed to lose it. And, yeah. you know, guess what? If you're only taking 420 million, and you find an extra $52 million. Totally. Man, that'll change your profit loss probably as long as you have some margins and uh, yeah, and and you know you, you can see. So what do they do? They this they, is an inter this is like a just a uh, trading site yeah. for Latin America. Right, like this is like an eBay, Alibaba, eBay. Okay. Yes, exactly, exactly. So fixed price or auction. Yeah. Yep. Classified ads, motor yeah. vehicles, vessels. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Craigslist. There's a million of them, right? right. Some right. online marketplace. And you can see that growth. Oof. I know. Look at that. You know, and I wonder, you, I was just going to say, I wonder if these numbers reflect what they just came out with, maybe? Or, or the last you know, um, Yeah, because yeah. you can see that it was 473 they came right. in with. That number right. was projected at 420-something before yeah. that. Yeah. Exactly. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 70. Up, uh, up 70. NASDAQ up 68. S&P's up 15 and a half. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials up 81, Nasdaq up 75, S&P's up 16. And, uh, you know, you get some heavy problems inside the uh, hog market. Speaking in Speaking of eating meat, right? Yeah, right. Maybe this is why uh, Beyond Meat's doing well um, <laughs> on their IPO. Right. That's a joke. I love meat, man, but, you know, this is... And it, and it goes both ways, as in lettuce gets contaminated. You know, oh, yeah. people who are vegans and vegetarians, and I've gone on my kicks, and when they hear this, like, oh, meat, that's why vegetarian can be just as bad sometimes in terms of the those lettuce oh, um, yeah. deals. But this is pretty intense, man. So pig Ebola virus sends shockwaves through world food chain. Um, African swine fever in China yeah. will impact global food supply. So it starts off pretty, pretty... I said this is the stuff movies are almost made of, right. man. In terms of last August, a farm with fewer than 400 hogs. You can see the movie, right? It's thrown to a small little farm of like one farmer with 400 pigs yeah. out there in the middle of China on the outskirts of Shenyang was found to harbor African swine fever, the first ever occurrence of the contagious viral disease in the country with half of the world's pigs. 47 had... Uh, had had died, triggering yeah. emergency measures, including mass culling. So they tried to cut this off completely, right? right. In terms of all of those pigs, there's only 400 they on did the that farm. Within days. Yeah. But it was um, too late. It, it was too late. So it reads down here. It was too late. By then, the disease had literally gone viral, dispersed across hundreds of miles of sickened animals, contaminated food, and in the dirt and dust on truck tires and clothing. Nine months later, it's nationwide, cross borders to Mongolia, Vietnam, Vietnam, Cambodia. Um, and the numbers are staggering, man. So China has 440 million swine. Okay. They estimate that a million have been culled, but slaughter data suggests 100 times more, which would be 100 will million. Will be removed. Will be removed. Um, and so the, the U.S. Department of Agriculture forecasts in April a decline of 134 million. That's equivalent to the entire annual out American output um, in terms of how big China is. The world's worst slump since the department began counting China pigs in the mind mid 1970s so let's see china's hog output 20 percent slide in 2019 to a 17 year low so that's their hog output um and yeah look at that drop off man you're going back to poof and i i imagine that can affect a lot of things because they're feeding right imagine you're taking that out of the market oh, you have yeah. 100 million that right. no longer need feed um 
So let's see. Go the ahead, strain yeah. of swine, African swine fever spreading in Asia is undeniably nasty, killing virtually every pig it infects. In, oh my yeah. God. Um, reminiscent of Ebola in humans. Man, that's pretty sick. The, the harm sure to pigs is especially critical for China with the 128 billion pork industry and the world's third largest per capita consumption. Man, so they eat a lot of pork as well over there. Yeah. Per capita. Per capita pork consumption almost triple the global average. The U.S. is at 23 kilograms per person. Uh, China all the way up at 30. Look at the EU doing their cause up there. Yeah, that's interesting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So let's see. Their hog herd may decline as much as 30 percent. We went over maybe you yeah. know 100 million plus. China will clearly need to import substantial amounts of pork and likely other meat and poultry to satisfy demand. Um, Chinese meat purchases may also boost sales of soybean meal, uh, so it's the livestock feed all over the place. Wholesale pork prices in China are already 21% higher than a year ago, man. What, what is that co code for all those commodities? We got a new code for commodities. GLCO, I believe. GLCO. We'll have to get what that stands yeah, for, but that's the... Oh, Global Links? Global Commodity, uh, Global no, Commodity. that's not it. Uh, well, that might be it, GLCO. Oh, no. Maybe it's... No, just hit enter. What'd you do? Whoops. I think if you just hit enter. There you go. Okay, yep. cool. So let's find these hogs. There you go. Right down, uh, no, well, no, cattle. Let's see. It's going to be somewhere in there. It's going to be agriculture. Click on agriculture, yeah. There you go, down the bottom, very bottom. Line. There we go, okay. So you get 93 cents a pound. Price might be going up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Not to, not to talk about where do you so think up, that started to become a realization, yeah, right? Yeah, right? In terms of like February. Yeah, you can see that's pushing with volume. So you get a consolidation at the top of it, that's 99 cents. That's what you really see, man. If you have an inside track in terms of understanding the fundamentals in a world, I mean, there's... Especially you, in commodities. Oh, yeah. right. That's right. what I mean, in commodities, right. where right. you... They said last August. People knew then. Yeah. The first time. Can you imagine the first time that that was reported outside of that farm? Yes. It's like, whoa, you buy hogs like right now. Right. Because if this starts going into the next one, the wow. next one. Um, now, China, I imagine, was not very forthcoming when, when they started to get those early on. But I don't think there's any denying once they start having to have that uh, the count of the hogs or whatever. Yeah, so look at what you have. You got, well, that's 18. So this has always been this has been a large consolidation. I, I put up the uh, continuous contract. So, you know, you, you consolidate between like 92 cents a pound and 50 cents a pound. Okay. Wow. That might be about to change, though. Yeah, because well, I guess in both cases, though, right? Then people can get scared about eating it too, right? Yeah. You know. Yep. I guess I in, wonder... in that disease, you probably couldn't because it's like they're probably so emancipated that you know that it's hard to get in the food chain. Meaning yeah. that, that the, the disease. And is they so bad. said that the disease actually. Doesn't affect humans. Was somewhere in that oh, okay, in that right. uh, article, right. but but guess yeah. what, man? Ebola pigs. I mean, not to. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to say. I mean, the human mind <laughs> yeah. can only wrap its, yeah. itself around it's, so much. It's um, bad enough clawing on bones. Yeah, you're eating an animal already. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right, um, I'd right. like mine to be Ebola free. Um, <laughs> no, it's it's. I said you got to watch out for that. I mean, we saw it in lettuce, man. The same deal. You oh, got to yeah. watch out for that. That was everywhere. What is it wasn't the lettuce, it was the other thing. The, uh, Romaine? Romaine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Which, this lettuce. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> it's just Caesar lettuce, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 877 927 Let's go take a look at um, Amazon. So the okay. big news on Amazon is that uh, you get Buffett finally buying into Amazon. There we go. Um, Amazon's up $56. And that's going to break its high, break its high, I think. Let's see. So the high up there is, uh, what, 1956? Yep. 33. We're up at 58 already. Let's see what they have to say. Yeah, how much is he putting in? I don't know. We'll find out. Let's he's, see. He's... Okay, that, uh, you know, so this is Buffett's weekend, I believe. This is the big weekend in uh, uh, Idaho. Or where, no, he's in Iowa, wherever he's at. Okay, uh, Iowa. Iowa. So this is the big meeting. Uh, so uh, Buffett says that he underestimated Amazon Jeff Bezos, uh, now one of Buffett's deputies willing to put money behind the tech giant. Uh, Berkshire has been buying Amazon shares, and the purchase will show up in a regulatory file later this month, CNBC. Uh, uh, Buffett, uh, Omaha. There we go. Omaha. Saying that. Omaha. I was saying Oracle of Oracle of Thank Omaha. You. Thanks, yeah. guys. Um, yeah, so we'll see exactly how much they bought. You know, I mean, they came into Apple, like, you know. Oh, uh, sure. You know, so. And they just had the $10 billion, billion dollar deal 
that they gave Occidental, right? Yeah. So he's, he's finding a few opportunities yeah. with some of that cash. And I mean, you know, his plays, he buys the brands that you can't match, right? He, yes. he does it for 20 or 30 years. Good luck arguing that's a bad investment in Amazon. It's a with, classic one. Yeah, exactly, there, with that in there's mind. There's no doubt. That's the Coca-Cola. Exactly. You know, that's the, there's, there's no They're never going away. That. Yeah. You know, right. as in I'd be hard-pressed to argue that about a lot of big companies. You know, it's like, right. um, yeah, right. even Google, you saw their struggles, right? It's yeah. like, yeah, they have a big dominance. I'd put them in the same deal. Um, but not quite as big as Amazon no. in terms of like, okay, yeah. somebody could come in and just you're seeing it. Well, and Amazon's take, coming in and taking some Google's to, traffic exactly. for advertising, right? Versus Google can't just make warehouses and start taking Amazon's nope. traffic. Yeah. No. Nope. There, there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industries up 77, Nasdaq up 75, S&P's up 15 and a half. Come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And, you know, we stayed at that uh, Beyond Meat. Yeah. This, this, you know, so the headline is that, yeah, that uh, Beyond Meat is going to be hammering Tyson and a couple other, uh, you know, meat companies. I'm sure. And the, the wild thing is that Tyson had owned 6.5% stake in Beyond Meat, and they sold it in April. And I, I believe the date yesterday, I mean, you're, you're talking about only like two weeks ago or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, it's May, it's May 3rd, right? So that yeah. can't be more than four they, weeks. And imagine... 
So they invested $23 million in 2016 to 2017. It didn't say, I'm sure we could hunt it, but it didn't say what they invested at. But um, Tyson had indicated that it was investing in development of its own plant-based products, creating a competitive concern. Well, guess it's what? It's not too big of a concern. I said it was probably, you know, they probably thought, ah, well, if we're going to come out with our own, they're going to be a competitor. What better way to stick it to the competitor? to the big giant pulling out and saying, we're going to now compete with you. Maybe right. the market would have been worried there. No, not so much, no. right? Um, and what is, uh, what's their, what's their symbol? I wanted to see what the market cap is of, uh, are we in there? Let's see what beyond, what's going to be there? Beyond, okay, B-Y-N-D. I want to see what their market cap is because what, what would, so $4 billion, so 10% would have been 400 million. So 5% is 200 million. Um, so they're looking at, so you know, it, 260 it, to 10 bag, right? A 10 and, bag. Yeah. Um, 23. And, and I wonder what they would have got because, let's see, they went public at 25, right? Yeah. So you're looking at if you were going to get 250 at this valuation, you're probably getting like 100 million maybe. Right. Um, now, look at this. I don't know if this is just up to date, but it should be. No one owns 6% of this company. <laughs> You know, it seems like that that can't be possibly right. So it doesn't seem with right. it with it just yeah. IPOing and and right. that being a skew, yeah. um, it, it I would guess. Yeah. So let, let me do it this way. Let me. Well, they had management. That was the management. Let's see. So chairman. So who's the guy? Seth here's, Goldman. Here's He's been there. Let's do the founder, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yep. Perfect. Young guy, man, founded in 2009, and Look at that. he's only no. 47, so let's yes. put him at 38. So, yeah, because it doesn't even have uh, Bill Gates in there, and he's going to be in there. Yeah, and yeah, so hey, we say, who knows, he could have sold out too. I don't uh, know, I'm sure there'll be a yeah. lot written about this stock right. in the coming days. Because that's um, only saying 1.6 million shares, and that's like zero. Go back to the description if you could. Uh, Just DES, I think, will get us there. Perfect. So I wanted to see how many shares. So there's, what do you own? One point something million? Yeah. Yeah, so that would only be like 2% of the company, which does get into... Uh... This, probably, this probably is not updated. Oh, this I agree. I agree. On. It's just fun poking around anyway, right? Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. Whole new world out there with uh, fake meat. <laughs> I know. And they're going to be arguing over that term uh, meat, right? Wasn't there just something uh, yes. in the EU or somewhere else where they oh, said yeah. you can't... Use the term like sausage or, or no, the, uh, burger or something to well, the, the meat industry is worried about you know meatless products using their like sausage oh, for or sure. chicken. Oh, for sure. Because imagine you start using it and people like it. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's, that's the, that's the number. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just no, no doubt. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, some of the other high volume stocks. We didn't make it down that list uh, too far. Yeah, and, right. Uh, you get the U.S. Steel. Look at that. It's up a dollar seventy-three. That's been a dog. We'll bring that up in a second. I think they have maybe had earnings as well. Yeah, you get. Uh, where is it? Uh, there's Cognizant is down eight point five percent. See, so. Tesla's up almost ten bucks today too. This it seems like they're extending that. They like that Elon is securing some cash. Go ahead on this. Yeah, look at this. Is a. Whew. Whoa, man! Holy cow! This is in two days. Look at this, folks. Two days, you go from seventy-two to fifty-seven. Yikes. It's blowing away swing point. What the heck happened here? Let's see what we did here. It's earnings season. Yeah, so. Oh, there you go. So see the fiscal year earnings, 387 to 495. They were looking for 443. They gave them a beating, though, for like... <laughs> Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the fiscal year, so they're guiding down. They missed on the first quarter, 91 versus 103. They're saying they're really going to miss by the tune of almost 10% yeah. on earnings. Um, well, they got hammered, man. They sure did. Sure. That's, that's quite a move. That is quite a move. I imagine there's more in there than just those two numbers. Yeah. And you, look at this, man. You want to see something? That, with $58, last time with volume. It's sick when this happens, man. It's just... That's where they like to go. And what was the other one we were watching? Uh, we were going to say Tesla, oh, Tesla maybe. Yeah, up 10 yeah. bucks today. Elon's got his cheering squad back. Yep. So we'll see where this can shake what, out. What's the low from 3D or anything? Yeah. Ahead. Yeah. Even just that low on the reset bar. No, even. Uh, yeah. 231 and 231. 231. Yeah. Still, I mean, that's. So what's that up? $23, uh, almost 10%, like yeah. three days. 
And you know what's going to be important here? Today? It's going to be interesting, man. Uh, that 252 and your 254 is an important number. Okay. Just is that right? he said he was taking it private? I think it might have been. Yeah, we know what it is. It's that if it just gets inside there, all of a sudden, you know, you get, you're inside the range again. Sure. You know? I, just try to, you I, know? I just try and correlate uh, the chart to Elon's episodes. Yeah, because no, no, there's, the, there's, the, there's, four, the 420 deal. I think, you, I, think, the, I think that's it right there. I don't know. There doesn't seem yeah. to be a big enough move. We'll, we'll look it up. I feel like it's that huge bar to the right of that. Right here? Uh, no, can I just let you? Uh, this bar. I mean, you got a bar from 2.52 to 3. Oh, no, you're right, because it had to inch near 4.20, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we didn't make it that far. It might be this one. We'll look it up. What's that? October 26th? All right, we'll pull it up at the break and get yeah. his, his. Bottom line is that uh, the crowd hasn't given up yet. But <laughs> so the, the news is the, I think he did 2.3 billion, 3.5 billion. Oh, there yeah. we go, next to 350 yeah. million. Yeah. Which is a big, big deal, you know? Still saying that, hey, he can still raise the money. Yeah. Um, so you get 750 million from selling the stock, 1.6 billion from the convertible bonds, originally up from 650 million to 1.3 billion. Yeah. So Tesla priced it at 243 a share, and they're going to pay a 2% semi-annual interest on the convertible bonds due 2024. 2% semi-annual. Yeah. It's pretty intense, man. You, the, the amount of cash that out there is a lot of cash, there's no doubt. That's, that's they have quite a debt balance sheet going. Man. Elon, it's time to walk the walk. He's been talking the talk. <laughs> <laughs> but they keep giving it to him, man. No, it, it, listen, there's, there's no doubt. Let's we'll see no, what happens, though. I mean, listen. I heard a great analysis on the last um, earnings call just saying, listen, it was never really a worry when it was just about production. You had the demand. But, you know, the, the demand for their Model 3 is waning a bit. And that's a problem. Yeah, if they and ever competition. To, right. And that's why. Right. Yeah. You know, it's like you don't have this uproar of, I need a Tesla right now at all. No. And no. that's kind of worrisome when they haven't even gotten to production and they're losing right. that big push. Yeah. So, 10-year note, you get a rejection of low in price again. You know, these, these notes and bonds, man, they want higher price. Uh, the 10-year, we got down to a price point today of 122.30. Your last swing low out here is 122.20. Rejected it, still wants higher price, man. 10-year is uh, probably sitting at 2.5. Yeah, 2.5, 2.7. Yep. 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up. 98, NASDAQ is up 86, SP is up 18 and a half, come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, 
educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 102. You get the NASDAQ of 85. S&P's up 18 and a half. And we uh, did, it was August... Uh... August 7th. And uh, it's pretty remarkable. Can I zoom in here? I can. Perfect. We'll give everybody because... Uh... The second tweet doesn't get enough attention, I don't think, man. Right. And this is his famous tweet. Considering taking Tesla private at 420, funding secured, period, exclamation yep. point, why not? Uh, shareholders could either sell at 420 or hold shares and go private. In case you were wondering about the nuances and the details, there you go, you know. But just, just, just run my mouth a little bit. Don't, don't listen pretty, to it. It's pretty wild. It is pretty wild, man. He gets away with it. So that was August 7th, and we got the chart up here on one of them. There it is. Uh, so it was this run right here. Um, your initial spike going from, uh, where were we at? About 286-ish. And you run all the way in two weeks up to 387. You're back down there. And then, man, that run in October, quite a run. Maybe they cleared themselves of some of that SEC. Maybe that was the first deal he made um, with them, thinking, okay, he'll be all right. We're not going to lose our CEO for a while. Right. And, you know, you can still see that this is pretty wild, man. Big numbers, though. Big and then, numbers. And then they expect... Let me see this thing here. So, yeah, they're still looking for a loss this year. You know? Yeah. And, yep. then it, and I think that's what, that was, they were almost supposed to originally, right, be uh, profitable on this quarter. And yes. that's where they knew they weren't going to be in this. And right. then he told, we're not even going to be quoted until next right. um, in terms of losing money. And he always seems to push things out a good six months or a year. He says, not right now, but... In like a year, we're going to get this. Yeah, totally. let's, let's go to Paul in Henderson, Nevada. What's going on, brother? Happy Friday, gentlemen. How you guys doing? Hey, Happy Paul, Friday, good man. morning, man. Happy Friday. Good to hear from you. Hey, likewise. I've been, I've been keeping up on some hockey at that Sharks game a couple of days ago. It was pretty unbelievable, huh? Oh, man. That's a beautiful been, thing. There's yes. been some... Uh, did the Bruins end up winning last night? I was they, watching they it. They did it end up winning. They won, oh, yeah. Okay, right, yeah. right. Yeah, there's been great hockey, man. I, I heard a stat a few days ago. It's probably even higher. It was like the 13th. I think the first Bruins game of the series it was the 13th play uh, overtime game already. Hockey's wow. amazing how wow. they have those. Yeah. 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 Uh, up, you know, I never watched it. And you guys were hyping it up so much. And I've been to a couple of Sharks games when I was in the Bay Area. And then over here in Vegas, the Knights are like the rage of the town. They are. Um, they are. Yeah, it's the end of the end so, of the end I of that. I watching it more, and the games are really exciting. I like it. Aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. The end of right. that series, uh, the Vegas Sharks um, was quite an ending, huh, Paul? With the the yeah. fi five minute major, I explained it to you. Yes. Remember the five minute major, oh. and they scored, and that was a suspect call a little bit. Uh, anyway, just crazy hockey. So cryptos, man, Litecoin. Hey, Tommy, can you pull it up on the weekly chart? I want to show you guys what I'm looking at. This trade has been pretty unbelievable. It's taken a long time, but I think we're going to get the breakout here really soon, this, the next leg up. All right. And uh, just show you guys what I'm looking at. 
I think we, uh, how do we change this? It's I'm April 30th, that's a daily. The charts. No, that's going to be. It's up on the top right where it will say, like, I'm using Bitstamp, but um, right next to the exchange, it will say uh, the time frame that you can move it to. There we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. This, you can do a year. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that's going to, let me click uh, on this way. All right, well, what are we looking at, Paul? I'm not sure I can pull it up that quick, man. Um, so right there, you're on, you, right there it says weekly. Can you just pull it back? Oh, you had it. But anyways, um, if someone's looking at the chart, what you would see right here is uh, if you pull it all the way back until that big run that we had last year, um, we had a bottom in Litecoin come in uh, right at, let's see here, $21 and about 50 cents. Wow. And then uh, we got the reversal pattern. We went long at $40. And what it did is it shot right up into the bar, that huge bar where um, we had a, some really good trades uh, November a couple years ago. Yeah. And it just, it pulled back, but it pulled back very orderly. And now we have a clean uh, weekly flag that looks like it's breaking out of. And if we get inside of that bar, Litecoin moves so fast that even just a 382 retracement of the whole entire move down uh, would take it up to about $146 approximately. Wow. So, yeah, talk to us about Litecoin now. How does Litecoin work? Well, it's supposed to be like the concept of it is going to be, um, you know, the silver to Bitcoin is gold. Okay. And, you know, we're looking at faster payment systems. Um, one of the things that I thought was pretty good when I started seeing um, companies like the UFC was having Litecoin as a sponsor, and I started seeing it more in the mainstream as we were kind of bottoming. It kind of gave me more confirmation to uh, go along on these trades. But um, there is a lot of FUD out there right now because of the whole deal with Tether, which is we had talked about before. It's yeah. a very kind of shady situation going on. Right. Um, and it keeps a lot of big players that have much deeper pockets than myself a very like you know on guard about the whole entire the market in general so right that, so where do you have yeah. your money like in litecoin right now what exchange is it on the my litecoin trade is on kraken kraken so, so have you, yeah. you and you're hoping that you can get your money back out right right i've never had a problem so yeah no no i'm just right asking now, you know what i mean because i think that's just as you said i, I have a because of there's so many scandals, I have a hard problem, time just <laughs> dealing with it at all. You can't but, quantify the risk. It's, yeah, it's really right, what, it's right, a tough, right, 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 right. So Kraken, so Kraken is an exchange, right? Kraken is a U.S. US based exchange. Okay. Um, which I like about it. I've never had a problem getting my money yep. in and out. Yeah. And. Um, and so when you do a transaction, let's say that you sold Litecoin today, how long does it take you to get your money out and into your bank account? Um, 30 minutes? No, 45 minutes? I don't oh, know. really? I mean, oh. as soon as I sell the position, yeah, I could just transfer. The, it, it's a little weird because what you have to do is I got to send um, either Bitcoin or something back to um, Coinbase. And I got to, in GDAX, the Coinbase platform, I could turn it into cash and I could put the cash into my bank account. No, that's my so point. So, is. yeah, that's, that's my point. So you have a couple of different transactions to get it back into cash, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. But as long as you can now get it out. I can leave it in USD inside of Kraken, but I can't put link my bank account up with, with Kraken. No, that's my point. No, exactly. Because until yes. it's in your pocket, it's not, right? I mean, that's, that's the reality. Oh, right. certainly. And so you send from Kraken and, to Coinbase? Yes. Cool. And from Coinbase, I get my money out and get right into my bank account. Well, it seems and, like you get a heck of a trade here, Paul. It's pretty cool, man. Yeah. And we got it up eventually. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're watching Tiger TV, but uh, we got it. So you see the big volume bar. I mean, if we start pushing yeah. into that, uh, you know. Yeah, that's, there's no doubt, man. That can go for it. I, I can see what you're looking at, man. And you, so what he's doing here, folks, this is what's so cool. When you get a, even if there's a dead cat bounce, it doesn't matter because a .382 of a dead cat bounce is a monster deal. That's, sure. Yeah. Man, stay right there, that's Paul. We're coming right back. You got it, Just man. a quick break.
Yeah, pretty cool, right? That's some volatility, man. Yeah, it is. Dow Industrials up 120, Nasdaq up 93, SP's up 21. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man Paul from Henderson, Nevada. We are talking a little crypto here. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 119. Nasdaq's up 90. S&Ps are up 21. And uh, it looks like that, uh, you know... Uh, Market getting a little run? Yeah, the yeah. uh, NDX 100, the uh, big numbers. Definitely. We got our man Paul from Henderson. We're talking Litecoin. And yeah, let's... You know, I wanted to ask you, Paul, all these numbers, because we talk about volume, and of course we've all seen the stories, right, in terms of the volume being basically just... Yeah. Uh, made up churn. In churn. Yeah. Um, how do you look at that when you look at some of these numbers when obviously some of that churn might be accounting for you know some of those volume numbers in there? Yeah, I just um, probably not the smartest thing to do, but I, my risk here is a hundred percent. Like I know that the possibility it could yeah, blow right. up. No, that's perfect. So, that's not silly. That's no. that's not silly or no, stupid. Cool. Right. That's ex right. that's right. exactly how you right. should do it, man. Right. Because there's you could definitely wake up, and one day it's at 40, the next day it's at 20, and then it's at 5. So, yeah. And that's the other side. Yeah, you, so, you, you already got so a I double, right? I the volume that are on the exchange yeah. as I'm trading, and I try just to say, okay, let me just focus on trading good setup. Nice. And um, if it goes bust, 
then you know no, I already, it makes sense. No, the risk the, like, I already know is 100. Yeah, that's how you better be doing it because if you're investing in crypto right. and you have money on Kraken, going to Coinbase, going to your bank account, and you're not willing to risk it all at some point, then you're not right. properly. Um, <laughs> examining how much risk you have there because right. there's definitely a scenario that it right. all goes away. Not, you know, and that, and that, I think it's a hugely profitable scenario, but there's... And that's one of the reasons why it is hugely exactly, profitable, too. Exactly. So you get, you get the other side of it, too. That you know, With risk, reward, right? Yeah. That's how things, many yeah. things work, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I like how you do The other side, too, is um, trading the GBTC, which yes. um, I can't do in interactive brokers. Otherwise, I would trade that a okay. lot. Okay. Just um, watch, that, watch that net asset value on that, right? Because we've seen as that thing yeah, crashed. Certainly. That thing really pulled back. Cooking, man. Have a great, great weekend. Great to hear from Safe you, Paul. Weekend. Likewise, gentlemen. Thanks again. Thank you, man. Take care. Stay right there, folks. we got Fast Mac and coming up next. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Bam! Look at him, folks.